Hello everybody, I'm very glad to meet you today in Montreux. I live in Geneva, so I don't come from too far. It was easy for me. I have uh, with me today two, two friends. Jeremy Arditi is the boss of our UK business. He will go in the backstage to uh, pass the slides. And Andrea Febrio is our VP Europe, in case you want to meet or ask questions after the presentation. I'd like to share with you today a few learnings that we have made across the years. The video advertising industry has been evolving very, very fast. It is already, it is even uh, today changing all the time. And we are one of the pioneers of this industry. We started at uh, three people six years ago. We are now 200 people across Europe with teams in all the major European countries and in New York. And this is really a fascinating industry. So let's go through uh, what I would define as the trends, the major trends which are shaping the video advertising industry. So the first trend may be a little bit surprising for some of you, depending how much you know this market. The first trend is video advertising is going outside video streams. Because most of the time when you start thinking about video advertising, you think about YouTube or, or TV catch-up sites. But in reality, if you look at the numbers, YouTube, TV Catch-Up, Dailymotion, etc. only allow brands to reach 50% of the internet audience. Although YouTube has a much uh, wider reach, not all the videos are monetized for, for pre-roll. So with these video sites, you only reach 50% of the internet audience. And our business at eBuzzing is to allow you to reach the other 50%, which you can reach only in two ways through media or through social media. So we have a network of more than 20,000 publishers, a global network, working with us, which are distributing the videos in the right context for the brands. Leveraging uh, an indexing technology and semantic technology that we have been building, which allow us to analyze all what is published on the internet, all the content of these pages, also what the users are saying are they commenting, are they liking, sharing. So we have a lot of data that we are analyzing through semantic and influence analysis technology in order to target the campaign to the right audience for the brand. The second very important trend is what I call the power of choice. Internet is not like television where you are forced to watch an ad because you want to, to see the news. On the internet, you have choice. You cannot force the user to watch an ad. Or if you try to force a user to watch an ad, the experience will not be good for him. And you take the risk that maybe there is a backlash. He doesn't like so much what you are doing. The internet allows you to distribute ads in relevant contexts for the users, and on top of that, to offer choice so that they watch an ad if they like the ad. So let's speak about the way we are doing it. We are doing it with what we call a video selector. This is a setup which is implemented into premium sites and media sites. And the deal here for the user is, is quite obvious. The user understands that the media have to monetize in order to pay for content production. And sometimes the media think they could charge the user for accessing the content. You know, this doesn't fly, except if you are Wall Street Journal with very high added value content. If you are a generic site, even specialized site, with not enough uh, original content that you cannot find anywhere else, you cannot charge the user. So the deal that we are offering to the user together with the publishers is, you want to access my content? Fine, for free. But before that, you have to watch an ad that you will pick between a selection of four very different ads that are coming from our advertisers. Then we will display the ad in full screen, high definition, in a rich media environment. So it is a very good experience for the user. Let's watch a short video to explain to you a bit more about this ad selector format. eBuzzing Media, bringing you the power of choice. 
In the beginning, video ads appeared in the cinema. Then they landed on our TV screens during prime time, one after another. Then the internet came along, full of advertising potential, but the industry's reaction was just to copy TV ad models. At eBuzzing Media, we can do better thanks to the power of choice. Why force people to watch your message when you can be chosen by interested viewers? Why pay for ads that might not even be watched? Why limit yourself to clickable videos when the internet offers a much richer experience? From these questions, CaptiveView was born. Our unique format allows users to watch a video of their choice before accessing their content on a global network of premium sites. At eBuzzing Media, we believe in the power of choice. Our users are provided with a choice of video ads which have been targeted to their unique profile and preferences. This makes our format feel less intrusive than other forms of advertising and ultimately more memorable. In fact, Vivaki's study, The Pool, has verified this, showing that choosing an ad makes it 290% more memorable compared to a classic pre-roll. When the user has made their decision, we give them a new, unforgettable experience. Welcome to a full-screen branded universe, which invites the user to interact with your brand, thanks to the HD video, interactive player, and sharing functions. At eBuzzing Media, we believe the viewer will be more responsive if they chose to watch an ad, not if they're forced to. That's why with CaptiveView, the user can skip the ad message. And if we have failed in our task to engage the user, you pay nothing. Welcome to a new era. To find out more, contact us to see how we can help you amplify your brand. eBuzzing Media, bringing you the power of choice. So when you do a, a survey, a post-test survey, and you measure the impact of such a format against traditional payroll, you would be surprised by the numbers that you see here on the right. All the parameters are better. The click-through rate obviously is better. The brand favorability is better. The awareness, uh, the brand, brand recall is better. Because, because of the choice. Because we have given the, the opportunity to the user to select an ad that he likes to see. And then the, the way we show the ad in, in full screen also obviously makes it better in terms of impact and the brand recall. Let's speak now about uh, the power of social media. I told you we distribute the ads into two kinds of channels, the media channels and the social media channels. Social media is a fantastic opportunity for brands who want to share brand, branded content. I saw a survey last week from Comscore, which is saying that 22% of all the video views are branded content. 22%. This is simply enormous. Why? Because brands are building better and better content for the users. This is not just 15 second advertising or 30 second advertising. The average duration of a film that we distribute into social media is like one minute, 20 seconds. So you have time to tell a story. You have time to uh, involve the user into this story to create real engagement. And we will see that uh, the creatives themselves are evolving towards more interactive formats that are uh, offering much more possibilities than the traditional commercials, TV commercials. So if you look at the, the kind of impact that we get in social media, I'm not sure you can read the numbers here. This is a campaign that we did for Toshiba, which has been measured by Milward Brand uh, for Zenit Optimedia. And you see that because the ads are targeted according to uh, the interest of the user, thanks to the data that we have from our indexing and semantic technology, we are able to address the right communities for the brand and to, to pull the ad towards the people who have an interest for the brand or an interest for the product. Then what is happening? The people who watch the ad, the, their community is interested by, by this content. They may share the ad with their community through Facebook, through Twitter, through blogs. And this is how you, you create a viral effect. 
we are a little bit like the fire starter on the barbecue. If you have a great barbecue and no fire starter, it won't run. So when a brand is, is producing the best branded content, they still need the fire starter to get it known by the users who can really share it with their community and create the viral effect. As a result, when the creative is good and the distribution is, is well built, you get this kind of, of result. You see that brand favorability has moved by 7%. Look at this one here. Compared to an average of only 1% for all the automotive campaign uh, run by Zenit Optimata, and only 2% for pre-roll campaigns. Message association has moved by 9%, which is absolutely huge. Even if you look at things like brand purchase intent or model purchase intent, this really moves the opinion of the users. Why? Because the, the ad is shown to them in a relevant context, because the, the ad has been sometimes shown to them by their friends. So if one of your friends likes something I want to share it with you, there is a good chance that you will watch it and probably like it. So you really maximize uh, the chances that you have to, to get the best results out of your campaign. Let's see a video which will tell you a bit more about the distribution into social media. eBuzzing Social are the global experts in social video advertising. We distribute branded videos transparently within the most influential social environments to create maximum engagement. And our innovative formats give you the most effective distribution in the market. We help stimulate conversation by not only placing videos within typical advertising placements, but also deep integrations within a site's natural user experience. And users can easily share your content to their social platforms with our prominently placed share buttons that blend into the screen while the video is playing. We enhance viewers' experience by optimizing their interactions with our X-Band format and you gain larger branding space to offer users additional content in our fully customizable ad units. We can build you a bespoke brand overlay using the size, content and call to action that you want. And you can provide extra engagement with dynamic end screens, encouraging users to share and relay the video or click through to your website. Or you can finish with a custom-built microsite, allowing users to enter a competition, book a test drive, or even buy your products. You can display your banner at the top of the player, reinforcing your branding and encouraging users to click through to your website, microsite, Facebook page or YouTube channel. With our players, you can launch your video on Rollover. Click to play. or Countdown. We can also ensure that views from our network add to your YouTube or Dailymotion account. The eBuzzing network is made up of over 40,000 premium and influential blogs, sites, portals and Facebook applications. Plus, we make sure that your video works on tablets and mobile devices. We provide all our clients with live access to our leading social video dashboard so that you can track, in real time, every part of your campaign. You can see your views, clicks and impressions, where they come from and what the completion rate of your video is, how much free media your campaign is earning and how you stack up against your competitors. We show you what people are saying about your campaign and how they feel about your campaign. To find out more, contact us to see how we can help you amplify your brand. So what you have to, to know is that this is a technology business. Out of 200 people in the company, we have 50 developers, which are creating this technology, which allow us to track the conversation, to analyze the social data that we get to target the campaigns, and to report to the brands very interesting social KPIs, not just how many people have viewed my video, not just how many people have been sharing my video, but also have the people been commenting on my video? Did they like it? How did my share of voice evolve thanks to the campaign against the competition? So these are very valuable insights 
which allows brands really to uh, measure the impact, the success of their campaign. Let's talk about another trend, which is a, a very important one, which is advertising is going native. It means it's, it's going better and better integrated together with the content. Because we have this technology which allows us to analyze what is on the pages, we are able to target advertising according to this content. So we will push videos which correspond, for instance, to text content on an article, and we will do it in a way which is very much uh, in a, in, with a clever integration that I want to show you now. This is an example where we have taken the Guardian uh, website. This is an article about check the skateboarders of cable. Believe it or not, they do skateboard in, in cable. This text, and you see a video is appearing. It was not there before. It appears. This is about GoPro with skateboarders. And when the video is finished, it disappears. So this is a good example of what we call native advertising. It's targeted according to the content of the page. And it's not intrusive. It opens when, when you read the article smoothly. And when it's finished, it closes. We are distributing this format in, into our media and the social media networks. So let's talk about, about the next trend, which is, we believe, extremely important. Videos are not just uh, like on television, passive advertising. On the internet, they are interactive web objects. You can create much more user engagement by having sophisticated scenario where you try to involve the user in your story by either adding rich media elements around the video or even inside the video. The video itself must be seen as a web object. And we are providing more and more tools to the agencies which are working with us to inject more interactive elements together with the video. So let me share with you a couple of videos that I like, uh, which show you what kind of advertising are the most successful right now on the web. The first one is a it's a video from Heineken, which we distributed into 34 different countries, 21 million views. And this was launched at the same time they were sponsoring Skyfall. That's, that's autumn, you know, the James Bond movie. It, won, it was one of the biggest uh, video advertising campaign on the web last year. And you see the scenario is, is very sophisticated. It's a game where the brand is suggesting the user to play the game. It's a quest where you have to find, to, to solve several questions. You register as a user using your Facebook account. So the brand gets a lot of data, interesting data on you, including your face, which is injected into the video, as you may see in a few seconds. And what does the user do when he sees his face in a video? You know what? He shares it with his friends because it's more fun. And the friends will be very surprised because they see their friend in the movie. They will play the same to do the same. This is how you create a viral effect.
So you understand that this is much more engaging than a 15-second TV commercial. Let's see another example, which is uh, from Sony, PlayStation Vita. It starts like a normal video, and you will see what happens at the end. You can play with the console. It's really fun. It's changing the video. This is the future of, of video advertising. I'm sure if you are in the advertising business, you, you understand the potential of this kind of, of creatives. This changes everything against passive, traditional commercials. And probably you need tools to, uh, to prepare this kind of creatives. So I'd like to finish this presentation by showing you a tool. Let's launch the, the video which is allowing you to measure the emotions of the users when they watch, watch a video. So how does that work? We are hiring a sample of 2,000 users on the internet who agree to watch the video. It's a pretest. And their camera on their computer is recording their facial expressions while they watch the video. We are matching it against a database of facial expressions, which allow us to understand whether they are giving attention to the video, whether they are distracted, whether they smile, whether they are disgusted. So it's very interesting for the people who work on the creatives because they can maybe uh, benchmark different versions of the same video, maybe use this kind of information to add interactive elements around the video or inside the video. You see at the end, you can, uh, you can really know when the people are, uh, are smiling, are getting uh, distracted, uh, whether they feel an emotion. And you know that, for instance, when it comes to viral videos, emotion is extremely important. If you don't create emotion in the first seven seconds, you are out. It goes very fast. So now we provide these kind of tools to our partners, agencies, and, and brands in order to do even better creative. So I will end up by summarizing the trends that we are seeing. The first one is video advertising is going outside video streams. It's going into media and social media. The second one is let's give the user choice. Internet is not about forced advertising. Internet is about respecting the users and establishing a good communication between the user and the brand. The third trend is leverage social media. This is such a fantastic opportunity for brands to, en to get engagement from their users and customers. The fourth one is ad advertising has, become, has to become more and more integrated together with the content. This is a native ID. And finally, we love when we have rich creatives which are not uh, simple TV commercials, but sophisticated, interactive commercials, which create even a better impact and engagement on the user. Thank you.